नमस्कार सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामरूपिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्यामि सिद्धिर्भवतु मे सदा सीकिंग द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ गॉड इज सरस्वती इट इज विथ इमेंस प्लेजर I welcome each and every one of you to Vedic Astrology Masterclass Series 2024. The Masterclass Series is a comprehensive and enlightening online lecture series proudly presented by the Raman and Rajeshri Research Foundation. Raman and Rajeshri Research Foundation was established by Dr. B. V. Raman in 1993. Sri Bangalore Niranjan Babu now continues to carry forward the objectives of the foundation as its chairman the aim of this foundation is to continue the work of dr b v raman uphold vedic culture in india and abroad revive and rejuvenate the study of different aspects of indian and eastern cultures such as astrology vastu yoga ayurveda vedanta and make these available globally every year Raman and Rajeshri Foundation conducts seminars in astrology in remembrance of Dr B V Raman as Raman Jayanti and this year marks the 112th Jayanti of Dr B V Raman every year the trust conducts a series of online master classes on jyotisha and vastu shastra free of cost to all the interested viewers across the globe I am Dr Archana Murthy your host and guide for today's session we are truly excited to have you join us from various corners of the world as we embark on yet another journey of intellectual discovery whether you are a seasoned professional or a student or simply someone with a thirst for knowledge we believe that today's session will offer valuable insights and perspectives on astrology Although we are in a modern setting of an online master class it still feels like an extension of our guru shishya parampara where we are learning from the experts or the gurus in vedic astrology and the guru for today's master class is dr arul mallike parthasarathi sir he will be educating us on the glory of vedic astrology We encourage you to approach today's session with curiosity and an open mind as we delve into the subject that is both complex and fascinating. It is my great honor to introduce our distinguished speaker for today's lecture. Dr. Arul Mallike Parthasarathy sir is an international scholar in the field of Dasa Sahitya. He has authored 80 books and 40 audio CDs and is an award recipient. He has authored books on Vishnu Sahasranama, Dasa Sahitya, Bhagavata, Bhagavad Gita and Ramayana. Dr. Parthasarathy has toured 50 countries delivering lectures on Dasa Sahitya, Ramayana, Bhagavad Gita, Vishnu Sahasranama, Bhakti Bhagavata, Sundara Kanda, Shiva Panchakshri Mantra, Rudram and Chamakam and Self Help. He has delivered lectures in the United States and toured Europe, Southeast Asia and Gulf countries. Dr. Arun Mallike is the chairman of the Vishnu Sahasranama Trust India and Haridasa Academy in Karnataka. He was the honorary member of the Karnataka Sahitya Academy. A very warm welcome to you sir. With that we will now begin the master class on the glory of Vedic astrology. Apada moli pariyantam guru nam akritim smaret तेन विघ्ना प्रणश्य सिद्ध्यंति मनोरता योम तत् प्रवेश ममवाच मीमा प्रसुप्ता संजीवयतिलशक्तिधरस्वधाम अन्यांच हस्तचरण श्रवणगा प्राण नमो भगवते पुषा तोभ्य नमो महद्या फस्ट ऑफ आल लेट मी प्रोस्ट्रेट अट द फीट ऑफ द लॉर्ड महाविष्णु let me welcome all of you who are listening and participating in this enlightening program this master talks on vedic astrology is a unique distinct and extraordinary experience for the listeners the reason being the human mind is innovative 
इनक्विजिटिव एंड वांट्स टू लर्न वांट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर अंडरस्टैंड इट्स फ्यूचर एंड अंडरस्टैंड द फ्यूचर एंड दैट इज व्हाट द वेरी कस्ट्रोलॉजी आल्सो डस द सनातन धर्म ऑफ इंडिया द हिंदू धर्म हिंदू सनातन धर्म स्टैंड्स ऑन द वेदिक सिविलाइजेशन द वेदिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स द वेदिक थॉट्स द एंटायर लिटरेचर स्पिरिचुअलिटी स्पिरिचुअलिटी ऑफ एनलाइटनमेंट स्टैंड्स ऑन द सॉलिड फाउंडेशन ऑफ वेदास दैट इज वाई वेदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज सुप्रीम एंड सेक्रेड एंड यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेबल दे रिवील द एटर्नल ट्रूथ्स द वेदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स रिवील द एटर्नल ट्रूथ्स एंड दे स्टडी डिफरेंट सिस्टम्स इन डिफरेंट डायमेंशन एंड इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन and vedas were the first scriptures we started thinking about the five elements of nature it may be earth it may be space it may be fire it may be water all these things how they will be having its impact on the mankind on human being on every individual on the body on the mind on the soul just like on the full moon day there will be terrible impact or influence on the tidal waves in the ocean there will be an impact of moon and stars on the body the body contains more than 50% water naturally the moon's impact will be there on this water body so vedas started studying what type of impact that will be there from the planets planetary positions the moon all such celestial things and that particular aspect of studying the connection between the celestial bodies and the human existence they called it vedic astrology vedic astrology itself is a an extraordinary science a systematic body of knowledge knowledge which can be understood digested executed for the enhancement of the knowledge of predictions the movements and positions of planets and stars are seen as the reflection of the cosmic order and believe that it will be having its impact and influence on the lives of every individual so the earlier thinkers of vedic civilization they believed they conceived an idea that there is something called as a thought pattern through which we can understand what happens in future they called it jyotish which comes from jyotir mandala jyoti means light delight enlightenment vedic astrology it lights up it lights up it gives delight it gives enlightenment jyotish shastra signs of light signs of delight signs of enlightenment it illuminates the mind it strengthens the body and what you call as astrology today the vastu today they have their basic principles basic teachings in the vedic scriptures that is why in india we call this astrological system 
as a vedic astrology we calculate the planetary positions movements of stars and planets after studying and calculating all that these findings are converted into predictions generally the predictions are converted into a type of knowledge body through which you are going to minimize eliminate if possible the negative influences of these planetary positions on the body and the mind and the soul of an individual simultaneously enhancing the positive impact and enhancing the signs of health into the body into the mind so mental health and physical health can be improved upon enhanced upon by understanding studying importing these basic knowledge principles and teachings of predictions vedas they tried their best in bringing this into an accurate mode of understanding not only in india different cultures and div- different races different nationalities different civilizations have been witnessing the impact the influence of these astrological factors on the mankind but hindus they had a type of sanctity for the study of this from the very birth from the very birth of a person naming ceremony of a person marriage of a person continuously through the lifeline through the lifetime it was it will be and continuously it will be having its impact and influence on every body astrology is not just there as scripture it is there as a practice in india when a child is born jata karma is performed that kundalini is done based on the astrology the naming ceremony that is done and every shodasha samskaras all the shodasha samskaras are completely based on the murta systems on the prediction systems and the very purpose of the vedic astrology was to mitigate the possibility of the negative influences and to enhance the positive aspects of these things into the life and if there are any unfavorable planetary influences to neutralize that unfavorable planetary influences and to enhance the positive energy that is available there so for self reflection and personal growth development of the personality development of the mental strength development of the stamina development of the spirit and development of the spiritual growth and to develop for the development of insight and perspectives new perspectives and new insights astrology was part and parcel of a great knowledge system in india and vedic astrology became an acceptable science a universally acceptable science because the bulwark that has been done by one person and one legend one institution a person himself has become an institution that is dr b v raman dr b v raman was the founder of indian council of astrological sciences in fact i personally consider dr b v raman as the father figure of modern astrological system entire lifetime of dr raman was spent in bringing out understanding studying recording documenting the relationship between the cosmic and terrestrial phenomena he demonstrated very powerfully and very practically the predictions 
how accurate they are in his astrological magazine not only in the magazine he used all the forums all the platforms all the media to bring the astrological theories into the limelight and to prove it absolutely perfect absolutely correct he was a very simple person very energizing person but became an extraordinary power a formidable energy with great courage character conviction and many scientists and doctors at that particular point of time they made lot of commentary and criticism on these types of uh, astrological predictions and dr raman relentlessly fought against all these things and highlighted that it is the pure and perfect scientific foundation on which the vedic astrology stands he proved it he demonstrated it he removed whatever misconception that was there in the minds of many of the so called intellectuals educated public and he succeeded in creating a wave a tidal wave of dignity decorum respect for the jyotish shastra or the knowledge of illumination jyotish shastra in india is considered as a very holy sacred sacrosanct body of literature dr raman proved this established this substantiated this through many of the books that he has written through internationally most popular lectures research papers he uh, he could influence the so called intelligentsia educated people medi- medical people uh, the scientist and uh, research oriented personalities and uh, his studies on hindu astronomy astro psychology weather and political forecasting disease diagnosis natural calamities and uh, human relationship management in all these areas he was an expert and he was uh, a role model of uh, astronomical predictions for the whole world for the matter how he got that his grandfather b surya narayan rao one of the greatest historians of his times he founded his grandfather founded astrological magazine the year 1895 he was a basically historian his books history of vijayanagar never to be forgotten empire another book history of vijayanagar empire a forgotten empire both them have become extraordinarily popular and he started that astrological magazine and after passing away of that great personality surya and rao dr raman revived it in 1936 providing a big platform a forum for exchange of ideas on astrology vedic astrology astro psychology in these uh, pages the most interesting fact about uh, raman was he predicted the beginning of the world war 2 in a document that he prepared world prospects in 1939 and 1940 and 1939 year will be fatal fatal for the entire europe there will be a terrific setback for the britain he said and all the prediction that uh, dr raman made became true absolutely true and it earned him tremendous reputation in all parts of europe and he prepared next booklet carrying the forecasting predictions from 1941 to 1945 and this document became so popular many people smuggled it smuggled this book into europe one of the landmark contributions of dr raman was it was he who was instrumental in fixing up muhurta for indian independence at the request of the british resident of that particular time and he fixed the midnight of august the 14th 1947 for the swearing in ceremony of the first cabinet meeting 
and he was the person who gave the muhurta for that and he started the he renewed revived the astrological magazine which actually gave the tremendous impact for the nourishment enrichment and popularity of the astrological sciences all over the world all across the world based on these popularities he was invited dr ramon was invited to united states of america europe and he delivered lectures in different universities different academic bodies and different institutions in europe and in america he has written he has contributed more than 20 books on different branches of astrology and one very very great uh, thing that happened was his english books on astrology would been translated into german language and many other foreign languages he was the first person in the whole the world who gave rational acceptable scientific systematic exposition of astrology in his book planetary influences of human affairs anybody who wants to enter into the domain of astrology his book is the first book that has to be understood that has to be read and it has to be uh, digested raman was the first person who took initiative dynamically for starting the astrological body of indian council of astrological sciences he was the founder figure father figure of astrological body indian council of astrological sciences in 1984 he organized it and he organized many conferences and its ages hundreds and hundreds of students and thousands and thousands of students from different parts of the country different parts of the world started taking the advantage of his systematic attempt to introduce and uh, empower the people through the vedic astrological systems in 1992 dr raman delivered a keynote address at the first international symposium on vedic astrology in california and it was the first attempt by a group of americans not nris not the american indians group of americans who took interest and american council of vedic astrology was founded under the uh, with the initiative of uh, dr raman by a group of american astrologers he was known for why raman became extraordinarily popular is he is a role model a very person of astrology whosoever you are which race you belong to which nationality you belong to which country you belong to that's different thing you must have a basic discipline you must have good character you must have respect and much more than everything you must attach dignity decorum and sacred impact and influence for your own life he was doing sandhya vandana and gayatri japa through his lifetime throughout his lifetime both the morning and in the evening and his yoga asanas and pranayama they became very popular all over in fact many astrological students called him as a real mahatma he was the most sacred soul of the whole world for that matter in fact he is literally the mahatma the the the, the place of the place of prime position given to raman in the field of astrology is great but not sufficient he deserved a nobel prize for introducing absolutely a new subject into a universally acceptable world class science and he established many many academies at international levels in different parts of the world and for that he should have been given a nobel prize his effort should have been entered into guinness book of records and his astrological magazine which he uh, which was uh, editing and he was running for 62 years 
can you beat can you imagine one single individual continuously managing editing one astrological magazine spiritual magazine for more than 6 decades most successfully to make it acceptable at the international circles of doctors scientists researchers and ultimately at day came the prime ministers from different countries presidents of different countries governors of different states medical fraternity scientific fraternity vice chancellors from different countries started coming to his doors for getting their prediction that i was told by somebody one governor of karnataka invited him for his uh, rajabhavan so dr vv raman went in his car when he entered into the rajabhavan building got down from the car adc was security chief of the governor he comes near opens the door of the car and he welcomes receives dr raman dr raman looked at that adc security person while moving he asked that security person just show your hand show your palm one minute he looked at the palm he just he just glanced through the hand immediately he patted on the back of that security person and said that shortly he will be the governor of the state and that person smiled he is joking he a hey, security chief how can i become a diwan of the state after four years huge uh, a fleet of cars comes to the bungalow of dr raman and one person gets down from the main car he brings all types of presentations and gifts to raman prostrates at the feet of the raman and said that sir Three four years back, when he visited the governor's office, I escorted you as a security chief. You looked at my forehead, looked at my face. You asked for uh, showing my palm to you. You just uh, glanced through the palm for one minute. Immediately you patted me on the back and you smiled and you told, "You will." he will be the governor of this state he will be the diwan of this state today i am i have been appointed as the governor of the, the diwan of this state mirza ismail the diwan of this state entire lifetime with an attitude of gratitude he was remembering how great predictions can be made by a legend called dr b v raman and same legendary continues with his son bangalore niranjana babu bangalore niranjana babu is an astronomical wonder astrological delight vastu encyclopedia and he is a renowned international consultant in the field of astrology and the vastu he traces his genealogy to the great grandfather surnayan rao who started the astrological magazine then he developed the entire astrological systems and scripts and studies from his father dr b v raman who was able to successfully run and administer the astrological magazine and now dr bangalore bangalore niranjana babu is the editor chief editor of the astrological magazine which is taking the tidal waves of the modern astrology to millions and millions all over the world all across the world his books on vastu and astrology have become internationally renowned internationally popular handbook of vastu vastu the its relevance to modern times frequently asked questions in vastu directional influences of human affairs these are the, some of the major breakthrough books of dr pridanjana babu in the field of vastu and astrology he is widely respected for his understanding scholarship and advisors he has got 
द प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज ऑफ द मॉडर्न रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द वास्तु एंड ही हैज गॉट द वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल सिस्टम्स ऑफ एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड वास्तु एंड ही इज एक्सपर्टाइज एंड नॉलेज इन द फील्ड ऑफ वास्तु एंड एस्ट्रोलॉजी हैज बीन टेकन बाय वेरी फेमस इटलास ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक इस्कॉन शिवानंद आश्रम योगा फॉर्म कैलिफोर्निया धर्मस्थला मंजुनाथ स्वामी ट्रस्ट औूत दत्तपीठम मैसूर अंड वेरियस सच अदर इंटरनेशनल बॉडी हैव टेकन द अडवाइस ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर निरंजन बाबू ईज प्रोवैडिंग इन द फील्ड ऑफ वास्तु ही हेज निरंजन बाबू हेज प्रेजेंटेड पेपर्स in the different conferences uh, and he has conducted workshops and he has uh, taken many teaching sessions practical sessions he has given professional consultancy to international organizations in america canada france belgium europe russia vietnam and many other countries american council of vedic astrology british academy of vedic astrology Shivananda Ashram Yoga Forum many organizations of international repute have invited him to address to deliver lectures there and the greatest contribution of Niranjan Babu is the astrological magazine both online and offline he has been successfully carrying it as a torch bearer worthy successor to his father who has taken the knowledge the discipline systems of astrology and vastu to different parts of the world dr raman established a raman and rajeshwari research foundation for the propagation of astrology vedic systems yoga vastu and related subjects of indian culture indian heritage through the lectures <coughs> demonstrations workshops conferences symposiums seminars etc now niranjana babu is the chairman of that foundation in july 2005 he initiated a course on vastu shastra which was launched by bharti vidya bhavan in bangalore and the then governor of karnataka dr t n chaturvedi successfully awarded the graduation certificates for the participants and narendra babu's strength is he combines the in-depth knowledge of the ancient sciences of vastu and astrology with the intelligent grasp of the modern conditions and contemporary concern for the modern architecture modern township modern systems in uh, building plannings entire generation of surnan rao bv raman niranjana babu now supraja raman they have, they are the torch bearers of indian astrology vedic astrology in fact indian astrological system thousands of years ago the tapasvis the maharshis the saints and the sages they were in running the for they were in the, sitting in the forests closing their inner eyes closing their external eyes and opening their inner eyes they were able to perceive conceive tremendous insights and ideas and they were able to understand the behavior of the five elements and they were able to understand what type of impact and influence that these elements will be making on the body and the mind and they were able to suggest how to mitigate them how to neutralize them how to enhance and improve the positive impact of all of them and that system was there very much in india and astrology vastu mantra shastra then yagna shastra yagna yaga homa avan all these things flourished out of this basic body of vedic astrology even before kali yuga at the end of this vapara it was bhishma acharya who declared that 
Vishnu Sahasrama itself can become one of the most significant mantra, Bija mantra, Maha mantra, Kilaka mantra in mitigating the personal loss, mitigating the health problems, mitigating the issues concerned to the mental balance and physical health. It was at the end of Dwapara Yuga. When the entire Kaurva clan has been completely devastated and destroyed, when the Pandavas are about to take charge of the administration of Indraprastha, suddenly Dharvaraja gets a type of depression. He thinks that I am instrumental, I am responsible at killing lakhs and lakhs of people, billions of people. The close relatives and cousins and brothers and acharyas and teachers and the children and my own brother, I am the murderer, heinous murderer. I committed genocide, so I don't want to impurify the Simhasana by sitting on that. So cancel the celebration, let us go back to Varmasa. Draupati, Arjuna, Bhima, Nakula, Sahadeva, Narada, Vedavyasa, everybody advised him. You are not the person who is responsible for killing millions. Whatever karma that they did, did that, that karma acted upon that. How can you attribute you are instrumental? You are not. Have senses. Come to senses. Take charge. You have got a responsibility. You have got a dharma. You have got a kartavya. Fulfill it. But he did not heed to the advice of anybody. When Krishna himself advised him, he, did, he took it lightly. He did not bother to take it seriously. He was still in depression. And Krishna thinks that he needs now the advice of the biggest doctor of Dwapara, Bhishmacharya, who was lying in Sharapanjara, anticipating the arrival of Uttarayana. Krishna, Sri Krishna brings Dharma Raja and Pandavas to Bhishmacharya, who was on Sharapanjara. There also Dharmaraja started crying and telling, Tata, I am responsible for making you to be there in this Sarapanjara with the, so much of bleeding all over, so much of wounds all over, all over body, all over body. Bhishma says, You have done a good thing in giving a logical end for all my problems, tensions and turmoils. Tata, I have killed millions of people, I have committed genocide, I don't have face. Then Bhishma says, only those who have the capacity to create, to do srishti, they can do the destruction and devastation and death. Can you do srishti of two people? You can't. So you are not whatever karma they have done. It is, it, in fact, Krishna, the very first day of the war, Arjuna and Krishna arise in their ratha, in their chariot, to the battlefield and Arjuna requests Krishna, please introduce all the people in my opposition camp. Then Krishna, on the pretext of introducing everybody in the Kaurava clan, looks at their eyes and takes out their Aishya. Vishma tells, it was Lord Krishna on the very first day who took out the Aishya of the entire Kaurava clan. Kaurva camp through uh, taking through taking out sucking their Aisha. You are no way connected with the death of any body. Come to senses, come to balance, take charge. Then Krishna requests Vishmacharya. Bhishma. When you were born, your mother Ganga, Deva Ganga, took you to Devaloka immediately after your birth. For 530 years continuously from Devaguru, Bruhaspati and all the greatest of the sages in Devaloka, she made you to learn, understand all the knowledge of the whole world. Whatever they call as the content and the component of the entire Gnana, Vignana, Sugnana, Pragnana, the science of the knowledge and knowledge of the science Everything has been given to you. Now with your departure, it is not the body of Bhishma that will disappear. Entire ocean of knowledge 
will be completely disappearing knowledge should never cease knowledge should never come to an end knowledge should be transferred to the next generation knowledge should be continuously and perpetually moved on to the next generation your befitting son dharma raja is here he is dharmishta dharmanishta dharma prabhu dharma raja he can understand he can absorb he can execute he can transfer it to further generations please give all the knowledge that you have acquired to him and bishma said i don't have strength i don't have stamina i don't have capacity i don't have memory power i don't have chaitanya here i am too old i am dying i am bleeding and krishna says you start off i will take charge bishma gets the clue bishma starts now advising dharma raja immediately lord krishna comes and sits as the memory here lord krishna comes and sits as the communication power here lord krishna comes and sits here as the chaitanya murti now bishma for 54 days continuously incessantly very powerfully penetrates deeper into all the knowledge systems all the sciences all the shastras all the gnanas all the types of knowledge what we call the contents of the knowledge the components of the knowledge for 54 days continuously bhishma acharya transferred the gnana sugnana vigdana pragnana to dharma raja then immediately dharma raja tata please stop it why what happened dharma raja says tata all the knowledge that you are giving are having such a subst- such power extraordinary power strength capability potential and wonderful meaning only people people of dwapar yuga can understand they can understand they can digest it they can implement these dharmas the moment the krishna disappears dwapara disappears kali yuga sets in in kali yuga it is only selfish people will be there intellectually dwarf people will be there spiritually dwarf people will be there you can't expect you can't expect them to understand these values of dwapara principles of dwapara greatest knowledge systems of dwapara but at the same time these kaliyuga people in kaliyuga they will be good people they will be sattvic people they will be noble people they will be devotional people they will be dignified people and people who would love to have the real gnana knowledge divine knowledge godly knowledge have the mercy of mercy on these people noble people and devotional people of kaliyuga in but in kaliyuga people will not have time people will not have patience so tell them in a simple way within 25 minutes within 30 minutes they will be able they must be able to tell it understand it recite it chant it and get complete benefits of all the vedas puranas itihasas knowledge systems which you advised for 54 days by uh, reciting all these things that you have told for 54 days whatever punya that i get whatever phala that i get whatever benefits that i get that extraordinary power benefits should also come by just chanting that uh, uh, which you are going to give for 20 minutes or 24 minutes there is all the time there is all the patience kaliyuga people will be having please come forward bless them with this blissful one man maha mantra which can be chanted in 20 25 minutes dharma raja also ask a question to vishwacharya bishma you have been telling me hundreds and hundreds of gods thousands and thousands of gods 33000 crore gods who will have time in kali yuga to write the list of 33000 crore gods to understand their attributes impossible kimekam daivatam loke kim vapekam parayanam just tell me one god one ultimate god one supreme god whom everybody can understand whom everybody can worship whom everybody can get the benefit of that blessing 
ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ರಾಜಧರ್ಮ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಧರ್ಮ ದಾನ ಧರ್ಮ ದೇವ ಧರ್ಮ ಗಾಂಧಾರ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಧರ್ಮ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಧರ್ಮ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಧರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಧರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ವಾಪರ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಧರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಧರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗಿ ಒನ್ ಧರ್ಮ which can be understood by even ordinary housewife a child a senior citizen and they can implement it also effortlessly easily naturally go dharma sarva dharma ana bodha parama vada please tell one dharma be very universally acceptable dharma universally practicable dharma for 54 days you have been chanting so many stotras mantras bija mantras kilaka mantras maha mantra you are a stotra sagar you are ocean of stotra but in kaliyuga who will have time to learn these thousands and thousands of stotras get me give me one stotra by chanting that particular one stotra one will be able to get over the clutches and the control of birth and death permanently kinjapan muchide arjantur janma samsara bandhana just one stotra the bondage of life and death will come to an end the control the calamity the catastrophe the crisis that people are undergoing from the birth to the death that will come to an end by just chanting one particular mantra please come out with this mantra kimekam daivatam loke kim apekam parayanam ಕೋ ಧರ್ಮ ಸರ್ವ ಧರ್ಮ ನಾ ಬಹುತ ಪರ್ವ ಮತ ಕಿಂಜಪನ್ ಮುಚ್ಚಿದ ಜಂತುರ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಸಂಸಾರ ಬಂಧನಾತ್ ಬೈ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಸ್ಮೈಲ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಧರ್ಮರಾಜ ಸೇಸ್ ಧರ್ಮರಾಜ ಯುವರ್ ಕೇರ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಅಫಿನಿಟಿ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಚ್ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಭು ದೇವದೇವ ಅನಂತ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಸ್ವ ನಾಮ ಸಹಸ್ರೇಣ ಪುರುಷ ಸತ್ತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರಂ ಆಫ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಭು ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಅನಾದಿ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಅನಂತ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಪುರುಷ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ದೇವದೇವ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು in the form of vishnu sahasranama one will be able to get over from all the problems all the tensions all the turmoils all the crises of life all the misunderstandings one will be able to get the peace of mind one will be able to get progress one will be able to have prosperity one will be able to have health one will be able to have happiness that is why The earliest of the astrologers in India were always prescribing Vishnu Sahasranama as the remedy for all types of issues and problems that the individuals are facing. The reason was Vishnu Sahasranama it takes care it takes care it will be having its impact on the body and the mind and the soul. In fact Bhishma Acharya himself says ಏಷ ಮೇ ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಾನ ಧರ್ಮೋದಿ ಕದಮ ಮದ ಫಾರ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಧರ್ಮ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಧರ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಫರ್ಮ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪೆರಿಟಿ ಪ್ಲೆಂಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ಈಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಹಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಎಸ್ ಏಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೃತ್ಯು ದೇವತೆ ಆಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಮೈ ಲೈಫ್ and to go away with my life but she could not touch me with folded hand she is eating and i am seeing the purti devate reason is much more than the kala danda that has been sent by yama i got a still a very powerful weapon with me and that is vishnu sahasrama that is why i cannot be touched by purti devate not only that i am i am immobile now i am in sharapanjara and my mind is thinking only on the feet of the krishna oh uh, the power of vishnu sahasram is so great in the last moments of my life when i cannot move out lord krishna himself has come here 
he is giving darshan to me so this vishnu sahasrama he is having so much of strength capability of bringing sakshatkar of the lord to anybody who chants with its devotion and dedication if any if a person takes vishnu sahasrama as a lifetime chanting and bhakti every day chants it with shuddha bhakti satvika bhakti pure devotion closing the external eyes to the world and opening the internal eyes to the god any one day during his lifetime he will have the sakshatkar and darshan of the lord that is the that is the extraordinary power of vishnu sahasrama then rogartho muchide rogat baddho muchita bandana anybody who will be chanting the vishnu sahasrama will be out of all dangers all calamities all ill health all sufferings all types of diseases will be cured completely by the chanting of vishnu sahasrama rogartho muchide rogat baddho all bandhanas captivities will be completely taken away then dharma is asking question how all rogas will disappear how all the diseases can be cured by chanting vishnu sahasrama then he says vishnu sahasrama has got an extraordinary power what is that power in the vedic age rishis used to perform a yagna called bruhudukta yagna starting from sunrise up to sunset the yagna was being conducted continuously it was classified into pratah madhyandina sayam into three parts and the main purnahuti they were doing it at 12:30 mid afternoon one hour earlier to that purnahuti all the ritviks yagniks purohits priests were standing up and lifting their both uh, the hands closing their eyes looking towards the sky invoking the god and they were tell, they were taking 1000 ruks shlokas from rigveda and each ruk each shloka was actually highlighting one name of lord mahavishnu so 1000 ruks or shlokas they were actually giving out 1000 names of god all the priests standing in shuddha bhakti immersed in the ocean of bhakti and chanting these 1000 ruks from rigveda 1000 names of god at the end of it after the completion of that chanting closing their eyes they were giving the hint to the yajamana or the person who is performing the yagna to pour that purnahuti into the yagna kunda and the yajamana was also with so, so much of bhakti closing his eyes he was pouring the purnahuti everybody they were in the ocean of bhakti they were completely immersed in the bhakti they were all totally in a different celestial pedestal suddenly after the purnahuti there was a huge explosion from the yagna kunda the fire pit and there was a tremendous glow that was originating from the yagna kunda for that explosion the sound and the glow and the light the dazzling light the brilliant light they were compelled to open their eyes the moment they opened their eyes what they were experiencing what they were seeing from the yagna kunda vanamali gadi shangi shanki chakri chandaki shriman narayan or vishnu vasudev or prakshat they were experiencing darshan of vasudeva vishnu narayana so these 1000 names of god had the power the potential capacity of bringing the entire god mahavishnu to their darshan and immediately rishis realized the greatness of these thousand names of god and they created one beautiful sahasra in the bruhati chandas called it bruhati sahasra shloka bruhati chandas is a chandas which contains 36 letters each letter contains 
वन कॉन्सनेंट एंड वन वोवल थर्टी सिक्स वोवल एंड थर्टी सिक्स कॉन्सनेंट सेवेंटी टू एंड थाउजेंड नेम्स इंटू सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड वाइब्रेशन्स वेन यू चैंट थाउजेंड नेम्स ऑफ गॉड लॉर्ड विष्णु सहस्रनामा फ्रॉम युअर टंग इन ए ट्रेडिशनल धार्मिक डिवोशनल वे these 1000 chantings names of 1000 names of lord that chanting will create 72000 vibrations all across your body there is a constitution of the vishnu sahasrama when 72000 vibrations are created all across the body these vibrations they, they vibrate they move as waves thought waves chanting waves tidal waves of sahasranama these waves <coughs> these waves vibrations currents they move through the arteries the veins the pipes the pumps the channels the canals which generally we call as nadi and in patanjali's ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಯೋಗ ಆ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಹರಿಕಥಾಮೃತ ಸಾರ ಆರ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಯೋಗಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಬುಕ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಎವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿದರ್ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ದ ನಾಡೀಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ದ ನಾಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹೆಲ್ತಿ ದೆನ್ ದ ಜನರ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಹೆಲ್ತಿ ಇಫ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮನಶುದ್ಧಿ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ of the manas mental health will be good emotional health will be good health of the heart will be there and for those people who will be chanting 72000 names of the god 1000 names of the god creating 72000 vibrations and movement of these vibrations through waves into different channels different arteries veins nadi systems they get cleaned cleaning it takes place clearing takes place processing takes place samskarana place takes place nadi shuddhi takes place arogya shuddhi happens deha shuddhi happens mana shuddhi happens buddhi shuddhi happens bhava shuddhi happens prudhi shuddhi happens ultimately body will be cleansed up mind will be cleansed up there will not be any health hazards there will not be any bad thoughts mentally people become strong mentally they become alert mentally they become att- attentive mentally they are cautious mentally they are vigilant then bhishma acharya tells this vishnu sahasranama helps in smarana shakti improvement of memory power enhancement of memory power spurana shakti means power of expression power of communication if one wants to enhance their presentation projection publicity talking point then learn vishnu sahasrama start chanting it your power of expression power of communication effective communication channel it improves like anything cause smarana spurana power of expression then grahana getting the understanding grasping the things in the right spirit perfect understanding avoiding all misunderstanding that comes from vishnu sahasrama chanting smarana spurana grahana getting and grasping the things having the right understanding dharana the moment you understand a particular thing you would get a knowledge you must carry that knowledge forever and till lifetime you must carry the knowledge if it is 60 years 70 years 80 years still all the world memory should be carried powerfully this is called dharana dharana shakti enhances smarana spurana grahana dharana then ucharana pronunciation powerful pronunciation effective pronunciation attractive pronunciation fascinating pronunciation you will be on center stage always you will be liked by people you will be loved by people you will be adored by people you will be respected by people that is the benefit of vishnu sahasrama chanting then vicharana vicharana means relationship management 
managing the people managing the relatives managing the friends managing the boss managing the subordinates managing everybody to move with the people to mix with the people to blend with the people to get along with the people to succeed with the people to exceed with the people that comes from regular chanting of the vishnu sahasranama so vishnu sahasranama definitely helps in improvement of the health systems because every day if you chant 72000 nadis will get cleaned up cleared up purified sanctified secondly the nadi shuddhi will be helping in arogya shuddhi deha shuddhi manas shuddhi buddhi shuddhi bhava shuddhi hrudaya shuddhi and thirdly vishnu sahasranama chanting will help you in bigging you a pure personality powerful personality effective personality sattvic personality likable personality lovable personality adorable personality respectable personality an ordinary person can become an extraordinary achiever through the regular chanting of the vishnu sahasranama that is the reason why earliest the astrologers of india they always were prescribing vishnu sahasranama as the best remedial uh, feature for enhancing one's mental personality physical strength and good health much more than that vishnu sahasranama brings in ಮನವಚನ ಕತಿ ದೂರ ನೆನವರು ಅನುಸರಿಸಿ ತಿರುಗುವನು ಜನ್ನವಿ ಜನಕ ಜನರೊಳಗಿದ್ದು ಜನಿಸುವ ಜಗದುದರ ತಾನು ಘನಮಹಿಮ ಗಂಗೆಯುನು ತ ಗಾಯನವ ಕೇಳುತ್ತ ಗಗನಚರ ವಾಹನ ದಿವೋಗ ಸುಡನು ಚರಿಸುವನು ಸಂಚರಿಸುವನು ಬಂದು ನೆಲೆಸುವನು ಆ ಮನೆ ಮನೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ದಾಸರು ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಗೋ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರಾಮ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಭೀಷ್ಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ ವೇದವ್ಯಾಸ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ವೇದವ್ಯಾಸ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ ಗಣಪತಿ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ಕಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಲಿಕಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಭೀಷ್ಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಭೀಷ್ಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೇನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ವಾಪರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ತಪಸ್ಯ ಅಖಂಡ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರ್ಯ ಏಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತಪಸ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಗೀವ್ಸ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ತಪಸ್ಚರ್ಯ to the people who will be chanting the vishnu sahasrama much more than that bhishma was the son of gange gange is known for purity sanctity gange is the daughter of lord mahavishnu lord maha she becomes pure and sacred and so much of sanctity because she is born from the feet of lord mahavishnu so lord mahavishnu's daughter ganga ganga son bhishma and grandson of vishnu bhishma bhishma teaches vishnu sahasrama to the whole world and anybody who is chanting the vishnu sahasrama the moment vishnu listens to that he gets attached to that he gets attracted to that immediately with an electrifying impact he thinks that my grandson bhishma he has started but these people have taken it so sincerely so seriously so devotionally so dedicatedly so i must run to my grandson as if he is running to bhishma he runs to such houses such people who will be chanting the vishnu sahasrama takes care and not only he comes he comes on garuda he comes with lakshmi he comes with all the gods and goddesses so the moment god comes dhanvantri comes health comes automatically the moment he comes lakshmi comes wealth comes automatically position comes automatically progress comes automatically prosperity comes automatically plenty comes automatically the moment all the gods comes all the gods they take care of your uh, your positions passions health effort achievement accomplishment name fame popularity every you become a legend you become an achiever you become more standing personality just by chanting the vishnu sahasrama that is the reason all vedic astrologers have given their first prescription is start learning vishnu sahasrama chant vishnu sahasrama see the difference there will be a sea of difference let me i wish all of you the best of luck the greatest strength of indian astrology i personally consider is vishnu sahasrama learn it chant it 
If you can't chant it, listen to that. Listening itself will be having tremendous impact on the mind, body, and the entire future. So let me wish all of you best of luck, great times, happy times. Thank you, Dr. Arunamalike Parthasarathy, sir. That was a very insightful class on Vedic astrology. Vidya Vachaspati means master of knowledge or learned scholar. And with today's masterclass, it's no surprise that you are referred to as Vidya Vachaspati. I am sure our viewers will learn, enjoy and appreciate it. Before we end this session, I would like to take this opportunity to inform the audience that the next masterclass session is tomorrow, that is Sunday, the 1st of September. Tomorrow's masterclass will be by Sri Niranjan Babu sir and he will be teaching us about selecting auspicious muhurtas. See you again there. Also, if you'd like to stay informed about the masterclasses and similar sessions, by the foundation, we encourage you to visit the website noted below in the session. Dhanyavadaha.